Um, quarantine's great. Um, I, I, something. Hey guys, it is me Red here, and today guys, we'll be doing a video, and on this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create this Umbrella Academy logo that we have right here, but in Photoshop, so you don't have to get this image and, um, you know, use it. So we're going to be using the font Bayboss, which is going to be linked in the description below so you guys can check it out. And let's just type out umbrella and first we're just going to make this color to white because we want it to be visible to the eye. Make sure the text is highlighted when that happens. So you just press Ctrl T and then you go to this bold right here. And now it's all bold. That's great. It's cool. It's literally, I think you won't really see the difference between this all right so the basic I guess strategy that we're gonna do for this tutorial is that we're going to be extending each character so for now the characters that are gonna be extending are gonna be the U and the L so we're gonna go and rasterize this layer first the rasterize type and then we're gonna go to the marquee tool the rectangular marquee tool and then we're gonna go all the way to this section so like right here and we're gonna highlight this section and then make sure the text is rasterized and then we're gonna go to our move tool make sure this is also selected you know this section and we're gonna press ctrl J and then now when you just deselect the umbrella text you'll just see the part that we copied and pasted what we're going to do now is we're going to use the arrow keys and just move it up until it matches the U of the Umbrella Academy logo. You can do, you can type whatever text you want. It doesn't have to be the Umbrella Academy. It could be like your name and then just do the same style that we're doing of the Umbrella Academy logo. So we're going to continue on with the L. So I think it was the first L that's going to be elongated. So we're going to go do the same thing that we did with the U. So we're going to go to the text of Umbrella and then make sure this is selected, the L using the marquee tool of course and then we're going to press ctrl J to copy that and now that should be layer 2 so again when you deselect that it should just be the L that was the top half of the, the top half of the L let's use the arrow keys once again and just make this match up with the height of the U so like right there looks good so as you can see it looks pretty cool honestly we don't have to do the D text and the academy text we don't have to type that out but as you can see the academy it's on the m that's elongated and the t so say if we put i don't know um i guess we can put like text here or something like that if we did that you can elongate whatever you want it say we have the t right here we can just elongate that first of all rasterize this layer once again make sure you have your text you know right where you want it you know your pr preferred text um, because once you rasterize you won't be able to undo that so once again we're going to just duplicate the selected uh, part and then we're going to use the arrow keys and just go to the move tool first and then use the arrow keys so we're going to do that you don't have to keep on you know selecting the each part of the letters you can just duplicate some of the the text so like right here this this section it can be you know applicable to the H over here so it kind of it's a little bit too big that's what she said <laughs> but again you can resize it so you can you know manipulate it it's a very cool textile and i really dig how they do it and the animation to it in after effects is very very cool but that's all i have for today Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later in the next video and please do leave a like, comment and break that subscribe button in the face, just punch it, you know, do whatever you want with it, why not, just punch it, you know, throw it under the bag, do whatever you want. Also, if you guys want a series where I, you know, recreate logos of famous shows, movies, just leave it down in the comments below or I'll just do it by myself, there's no comments, that's that's completely fine as well. Anyways guys, follow my social media and all that stuff in the description below. But anyways guys, peace out.